What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass. In today's video, we are talking cold fishing, wintertime fishing, when the bite gets tough, when the air temps drop, water temps drop, these five key baits will almost guarantee fish catches this winter time. Let's go. Winter is here. If you're out on the west coast, it's almost here. If you're up north, it's already here. But winter is coming, so that means cold water, cold air temps, lethargic fish. These baits that I'm gonna recommend today, I have so much confidence in, and will almost guarantee you fish catches no matter where you are in the country. You know, Wintertime fishing, cold water fishing can be very, very tough. You know, we get asked pretty often, you know, what are your confidence baits? What are the must have baits? And we've done winter fishing videos in the past, but today's video, I really wanna just key in on these five or six techniques, these specific baits, because I have so much confidence in them. And like I said, almost guarantee success when you go out fishing this winter time. So again, we get to fish all over and uh, really put these baits to the test. And that's how I've been able to really shrink down my suggestions, my recommendations to these key baits. Wintertime fishing, obviously the fish are slowing down, their metabolism slow down. And uh, you kind of have two different ways of thinking when you're approaching fishing in the wintertime. You can go out and hook giant baits, hoping to get that key bite, you know, try and, and, and trick that, that big 12 pounder into biting, or you can downsize and really catch a lot of fish. So it totally depends on your mindset and what you wanna do. If you wanna catch the biggest fish in the lake, throw the biggest swim bait you possibly can, uh, but that's not today's video. Today's video is if you wanna go out and, and catch fish when conditions are tough, when the, when the air temps drop, these baits will get it done. So starting off, I wanna talk about a drop shot. Obviously a drop shot catches fish 12 months out of the year. 365 days out of the year, you can catch fish on a drop shot. Winter time, you gotta be really specific, really careful with the types of baits that you drop shot because you want your bait to look as natural as possible. Typically cold water, means clear water, when you, are, when you are presenting a slow presentation like a drop shot, these fish are gonna be able to really examine that bait. So you don't want a bait that has a ton of action. You want a bait that just has a real natural action. You're not gonna be doing a lot of rod twitches or shaking, you just want that thing down there soaking. And it's really important to pick a bait that just has a natural kind of kick to it, a natural flow, if you will. So. My number one bait for a drop shot in the winter time is gonna be the Smalley Smasher. Uh, this is made by Big Bite Baits. The Smalley Smasher, we had a ton of success uh, last fall up in the Great Lakes. Uh, this year, in June, we were, we were catching them on it. Uh, cold water, anything below 55 degrees and below, this thing works great. It's uh, got a ribbed back, real, small paddle tail, kind of beaver tail on the back, if you will, and you just don't give this bait a lot of action. You just kind of drag it and let the current down there just give that little shimmy to this bait. But the Smalley Smasher, uh, in this specific color, this is actually, uh, this is called Green Pumpkin Purple Flake. All of these colors I'm gonna recommend to you day, today are gonna be very, very realistic, very natural colors, because like I said, these fish are down there they get to really snoop at your bait, really key in on it and see if they want to eat it or not. So you don't want to be doing too much of the vibrant stuff, too, too crazy of colors. Go natural, go with your green pumpkins, uh, your brown, purple flakes, stuff like that. But that Smalley Smasher right there, that is money. Another bait for you, I think I told you the color, green pumpkin, purple flake, yeah. Just like every video, I'll link this stuff down below in the video description so you guys don't have to take notes. But uh, very specific on the colors very specific on the baits because that is what we have confidence in. Two more drop shot baits for you. This guy right here, this is actually Strike King. This is the half shell. Now we've talked about this bait in the past. Now, you know, a, a trick that Matt and I have done for years was cutting a sweet beaver in half. It has that real bait fish profile, but the half shell right there, again, you'll kind of see the, 
kind of same flat belly, kind of that spade or, or paddle tail, if you will. It's not a paddle tail like a swim bait. It's just a kind of a flat, kind of a beaver tail. But again, it's a drop shot bait that has simple, but enough action to catch fish in cold water. I love this bait. Uh, this is probably the only, only color that I will recommend that is not a natural color, and that's gonna be some kind of morning dawn. Morning dawn works in the winter time. It works in the springtime. It is a phenomenal color. Uh, if you guys don't use morning dawn, you should definitely add that to your lineup in, in all of your baits, a morning dawn color. The last bait I wanna talk about real quick for drop shots, and we'll move on to these other techniques, is gonna be this right here. This is the Demiki Armor Shad. It's a little swim bait. See on the back here, you got a little fork tail. In the colder water, this doesn't have a paddle tail on it. It doesn't have like a normal swim bait tail on it, but in the normal or in the cold water, this is gonna have a real subtle kick. You guys ever heard of the Demiki rig? This is the bait. It works great on a drop shot as well. So those three key drop shot baits, if you're going out this winter time in cold water and you're throwing a drop shot, try one of those three. I, I, I guarantee you will have success with one of those three baits. Again, keep it natural. Uh, throw in that morning dawn if you want. Clear water works great for spotted bass, but those are my key uh, drop shot baits. Now, another bait I wanna talk about is a jig. Now, I had a hard time with this because I like to throw in the wintertime, I like to throw like a half ounce, a three quarter ounce finesse football jig, but it was hard to kind of justify a three quarter ounce jig in a finesse video. So another bait that works awesome. Matt just talked about this in uh, his top 20 or top 10 baits of this last year is this guy right here. This is the Kitek tungsten football jig. Very compact, very small package. I pair that up with a TRD Bugs from Z-Man. It's that Elaztec material. You can catch a lot of fish on it but more importantly, it's got dead action. And what I mean by that, you don't want to, just like the drop shot, you don't want a jig trailer down there just kicking all over the place when that water is cold. You just want something that's kind of that dead action. And that, that little guy right there fits this package perfectly, fits, fits the uh, action that I want perfectly. If you guys love throwing a jig in the winter time, or, or any time for that matter, Try checking out this guy right here. That's the Kitek, that little tungsten mini jig with that uh, Z-Man trailer on there. Uh, supernatural presentation. Obviously the benefit of the tungsten, you get more sensitivity, you feel the bottom better, but uh, a real light wire hook. It doesn't have a traditional big jig hook on it. So you could actually get away with throwing this on a spinning rod. But again, so much confidence in this specific bait, this color combination, you guys will catch fish on this guy right here. Now you can throw a, a three quarter ounce, you know, finesse football. We love throwing that dirty jigs finesse football. Um, again, we'll pair that up with like a 3.5 smallie beaver, keep that, that profile down. But again, it's kind of, uh, I'm throwing that on a, a heavier action bait casting rod. So it's kind of hard to fit that in to the uh, finesse uh, video for today. But that also works really well if you wanna throw a little bit bigger of a package, but as far as a finesse package, it's hard to beat that guy right there. Now, we've done videos on this stuff in the past, and um, we've had a lot of comments, a lot of uh, DMs or private messages about the success that people have had by throwing a fly as a normal bottom contact bait. You know, a lot of guys throw, this is, average, this is, a, this is a Spro fat fly. And you guys have probably seen this. You guys have probably seen it in uh, float and vi fly videos. This is a phenomenal fly to suspend under a float and drift around a bobber and catch fish. It works great. But what I want to emphasize today is get rid of that float and fish this like you would a jig. Fish it on the bottom. This little smaller profile, that hair back there, that uh, doll hair, and a little bit of uh, marabou, whatever you want to call that, uh, just has enough action in that cold water. It's not intrusive, it's not over aggressive, light line four, five, six pound test, just dragging this along 
and you'll be surprised with the size of the spotted bass and smallmouth that eat this little guy right here. So you float and fly fishermen, try throwing this on the bottom and you guys will uh, be surprised with the amount of fish that aren't suspended, that aren't coming up to eat that float and fly, that will eat the fly on bottom. Again, another great technique in cold water. Again, all these baits I'm talking about are thumbs up. They are highly recommended, but to definitely give this guy a try. Again, keep it natural. I'll link some of my favorite colors down below in the video description, but the Spro Fat Fly uh, is money. Sticking with the bottom contact baits, and then we'll go into uh, some finesse swim baits. Uh, the last two I wanna talk about, the Ned Rig and the Nico Rig. Now, I have these tied on all the time, no matter where I go just because they are proven fish catchers. Again, it doesn't matter if you're fishing this, what day of, of, the, of the calendar year, right? You can catch fish on a Nico rig any time of the year, but finesse wintertime fishing, it is definitely a must. I love throwing the five inch Yamamoto Senko as my Nico rig bait. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of soft plastics on the market that work great, but hands down, my number one confidence bait on a Nico rig is gonna be the five inch Senko. This is electric shad color. Again, keeping it natural. Again, I'll link all the stuff below in the video description, but the, the benefit of throwing a Nico rig in the winter time, again, you're getting that bottom contact presentation. You're getting that kind of that slow drag presentation. You got your, your weight down here in the head. Again, we've, we've done in-depth videos on all of these techniques. I'll kind of cover it real quickly, but I use that G7, uh, band with the hook. I use a swagger tackle, pagoda, uh, tungsten nail weight. Just holds in the worm so much better. I got tired of losing nail weights when those fish would come up and jump and throw the nail weight. So that, uh, that swagger tack, it's uh, made by swagger tackles, the pagoda uh, nail weight. It's got real aggressive uh, ridges on it that hold into that worm a lot better. They're actually hard to pull out, so I won't pull it out, but rig that bait, rig your hook, just up maybe an inch and a half or two inches off of the head of the bait. So this is gonna sit down on bottom. The benefit of throwing the Nico rig versus something like a Ned rig is just overall presentation size. You will catch bigger fish with this bait right here, but if you want to guarantee fish, downsize all the way and go with the Ned rig. That's kind of how I kind of, if I'm fishing a lake for the first time and just trying to figure it out, I'm not trying to upsize my fish. I'm just trying to catch fish, see how they're positioning, see where they're at. I'm gonna go with the Ned Rig. It is so easy to throw. It is so easy to catch fish with it. And it's just, again, it's, it's my top five confidence baits for this time of the year to throw. Two ways to rig this. If you can't or don't wanna go with the uh, tungsten head, go with the, uh, this is the owner block head. It's a lead head, that's a tungsten head. But uh, my two favorite baits that I rig on that, TRD, obviously, it's a no-brainer. Everybody in the, most people in the fishing world have heard of a Ned Rig, and it's because of that guy right there. It's the Laztec, you know, Laztec uh, plastic, so you're going to catch many, many fish uh, on one bait. The other bait that I have a ton of confidence in is going to be the, uh, the Robo Worm, the Ned Rig bait uh, from Robo. Just so many good colors. And again, I'll keep it, keep it natural, go with the green pumpkins, uh, goby color. This is the actual green pumpkin goby. I think I just said that, but keep it natural. But um, a Ned Rig, Ned Rig, Nico Rig, a fly, a jig, and a drop shot are musts. Those baits right there will catch fish. Now, if you wanna get away from the bottom fish, and you wanna throw a swim bait, throw a finesse swim bait. So I got three of them here for you. Whatever, whatever type of fishing you like, I got some baits for you right here. So starting off, if you just wanna downsize a little bit. You're coming off of fall, you've been throwing your 4.8s, your 5.8 Kitex, and you wanna downsize a little bit. Throw like a 3.3 or a 3.8, this guy right here. This is, this is our own signature head. This is the Tactical Bass and Finesse swim bait head. It's just like the Matt Allen head, except it's got a lighter wire hook. 
So you, you get that same great action you do from the Matt Allen head, you know, that 30 degree line tie makes that bait unstable in the water, gives that little different shimmy that these fish haven't seen. But now you can throw this on a spinning rod, you can throw it on a light bait casting rod, and it is finesse. So the tactical finesse head, lighter hook, easier hook penetration, uh, that is a must if you don't want to downsize all the way to a small, small swim bait. If you do, if you're throwing a swim bait on a, on a spinning rod, you're throwing six pound test, eight pound test, these two are guaranteed fish catchers. Little guppy head 2.8 and a little cool baits 2.8. Take your favorite 2.8 size swim bait. Again, I love throwing the Swing Impact Fat, the Kitex, or the, the Easy Shiner. This is Electric Shad. It's got a little, show it to you real quick. It's got a little different body than the Swing Impact. It's uh, flat on the sides, just a little different swim. So if everybody around you is throwing the Swing Impact fat, go with the Easy Shiner. But either way, go with a 2.8 size or a three inch size swim bait paired up with a guppy head. If you want an extra flash, go with the uh, Cool Baits Underspin. But you, like I said, you are almost guaranteed to catch any predatory game fish in your fishery with those guys right there. Again, if you wanna step it up and, and not go down all the way, maybe try to key in a little bit bigger bites, but slow down and the fish is on bottom, go with the tactical finesse head. But these baits right here, guys, uh, I almost put money on it. These are my go-to baits. If you guys need confidence, if you guys need fish catches this time of the year as we go into that cold weather, the cold water, you know, the rain, the snow, whatever, these baits right here will catch fish. Believe in us, believe our confidence. Uh, next time you head out to the lake, take some of these exact baits and you guys will catch fish. If you guys have any questions, please leave those down below in the comment section. We will try to get to those as soon as possible. But uh, don't be afraid of the cold weather. Don't be afraid of the transition. You know, all fall we talked about reaction, reaction, reaction. You know, make those fish eat. But as we go into that winter time, when those fish are truly lethargic, they're not wanting to move around a lot, they're not wanting to cover a lot of water unless you trigger them into doing so, these finesse baits right here will catch those fish that aren't willing to move around. As always, guys, we appreciate you. If you learned something from this video or liked it, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel. We do three videos a week for you. We appreciate you. Have a good one.